We've set the scene here. We've got all the tier lists going down. Enjoy the tier lists, embrace the tier lists, love the tier lists. And this is how it's going to be for PvP. Short and sweet, let's blast this out quickly. We're actually going to do double tier list here. I'm going to do one for ranked, one for high level competitive play because things are pretty different. You know, obviously ranked is not the same thing as 5v5 when everyone's on voice, everyone's going crazy, everyone's uh, fully coordinated, you have a proper composition, you have strategy, you have rotation, right? All that stuff. So things definitely change a little bit. Uh, but let's... I, I think let's get into the good stuff. It's PvP tier list time. And we're going to have to make a few alterations. I don't think this is actually granular enough. I think we are going to need A+. I don't think we need... S tier can say as it is, but I think we need a bit of differentiation between A and A+. Because I don't want to downvote things to B, right? B is... That's too much of a... Too much of a condemnation, right? That isn't good, right? Putrid tier... Um, there will definitely be, uh, definitely be putrid tier. Let's go ahead and put feed tier. I think that can be D tier there, guys. Feed tier, it's right there. But I'm just going to add another row here, actually. Add a row above. Uh, and that's going to be A+. Plus. I think we need A+, plus here. First up, this is going to be a bit of a shocker to people, right? This is going to be a shocker. People are not going to see this coming, right? I bet people are going to be blindsided. Untamed in ranked S tier, actually. Definitely. Definitely S tier. Alongside Willbender and Harbinger as well. These are all S tier. 100%. They are hyper carries um, in ranked. They have insane damage, good mobility, solid sustain, right? Um, and they can work independently of the team pretty effectively, you know? Uh, and it's funny, actually, because... Uh, these were very weak, right? These uh, got buffed a lot over the course of Ender Dragons. Of course, the recent buffs to Willbender uh, made it absolutely insane. One of the strongest specs in the game right now, flat out. Um, they are absolutely crazy, for, particularly for ranked gameplay. Harbinger is amazing. It has great damage. It can hold its own in 1v1s. It can bunker bust through tanky stuff like Mechanist and Core Guardian. Uh, it actually has support converts with quickness, making your team do crazy DPS. You have the Elixir. Oh, man. It is just so strong. Like, these builds have become great. And the sustain buffs to Harbinger and the new death magic tech that's being used, oh, it's so strong. Like, you are a monster on this build. Some big, big buffs to that uh, over time really made things very, very spicy indeed. Uh, and let's go ahead and get some more really, really strong ones. Um, Spectre. Let's see, where would I, would I put... I'm not... I'm actually not sure if I would put Spectre in S tier for ranked. It might actually be, like, right at the top of A+. I feel like it's good. It's really, really good for ranked, but I don't think it's will... It doesn't have that level of explosiveness. I think in a duo queue, Spectre is really, really good because you have so much map presence and map control from it, um, from Spectre, actually, but... It's, it's not quite as explosive. Like, the really high ultra-aggressive builds, like the power damage from the Untamed and the Worldbender, I think it just carries a little harder um, than Spectre really can in ranked, but I still think it is a really good choice. I'm going to say A+. Bear in mind, this is a ranked tier. It's not competitive. Just be aware of that. All right there as well. Ooh, let's see. What else we got? What else we got? I think... I think I'd go ahead and put... I... I, I Dragon Hunter is still really good, I think. It really farms people hard uh, with this. I think Herald is also good, but it's not as good as... It's not as good as these two, for sure. And Willbender has kind of replaced Herald. It's almost like the Omega version of Herald to an extent, you know, with a lot of the weaknesses removed in a lot of ways, actually. Um, Herald's actually tricky. It, it might actually just be A tier these days. I don't think... Hmm. Ah... Uh, I, th I think I can maybe be a little generous, actually. Uh, I, I think it is actually really strong. I think a well-played Herald is an excellent carry, particularly if you're playing with another DPS player where you can coordinate and really get kills. So I'm going to say uh, Herald is still A plus tier. I think it's really strong for ranked. Definitely fall off in competitive play. Um, it, it gets a little bit bullied um, and doesn't quite have the sustain necessary anymore. You know, and has been replaced by Willbender. But I definitely think Herald is still very much up there, too, uh, with some of these builds. I would say... Ooh, man, it's getting really, really close now, actually. I think it's really spicy at this point. Like, this is the really exciting thing about PvP, right? It's so close here, right? It, it, there's a lot of really strong builds, I think, in this A, A plus S tier. There's loads of really good ones. Let's get some trash. Uh, let's get some garbage out of the way. Core NG, 
this is like probably one of the saddest elite specs in the entire game. I'm not going to lie, right? Cran tried to make a heal build work. It didn't. Floody tried to play it. It didn't work. It, it wasn't good. Don't play core NG, guys. You've probably misclicked if you're playing core NG. Don't do it. Same thing with Firebrand. Um, th this, the, you play Firebrand if you've accidentally logged into the game for the first time in years and you haven't seen any of the balance updates and you accidentally play Firebrand, but then you immediately swap off when you realize it's useless. Uh, I think Scourge, you know, Scourge is trash. It's really bad. I'm sorry, guys. Like, some people go, oh, Scourge is so good. Nope. You got nerfed so many times. You do no damage. You have no barrier. You have no sustain. You're squishy. You're going to die instantly. You're useless. Scourge, definitely going into feed tier. It's not very good whatsoever. Uh, let's see. Can we? What else can we throw in the trash can? Surprisingly, not that much, actually. Um, You know... I'd be tempted to put Core Ellie, but I actually don't think Core Ellie is that bad. I'm actually going to add D tier back in just for... Does Core Ellie even deserve D tier? I'm actually not sure if it does. It's surprisingly playable. Like, no joke. It's seriously surprisingly not that bad. I've seen some players play it and it works. Um, It works. So I, I think Core Ellie actually gets C tier. It's not feed tier. I don't, I think I'd feel bad about putting it in D tier as well. Core Guardian. This is a super interesting one, actually. I think Core Guardian um, is actually really good for ranked if you have a duo queue. I think playing support solo queue is a bit iffy. You can certainly carry people because there's a lot of team fights going on. You can res people. You can support a 3v3. You can support a 4v4. Ranked is very team fight oriented, and that does make supports really good. Uh, I don't think I'd give it S tier, but I'd say that Core Guardian, support Core Guardian is an A plus tier build. I think, would I rate it above Herald? Ooh. Ooh. I think it's, it's really hard to deal with if you don't have one on your team as well. If there's no support, I think it's really hard to deal with. Uh, I think I'd actually put Tempest in A plus as well for that same reason. Maybe a, maybe it's A tier, actually, a little bit below Core Guard, because I, I do think that um, Core Guard is better than Tempest. Um, but Tempest is actually really good. I think it's really, really good, actually. Um, especially in rank, because you can do a little bit of damage as well. Uh, and you still have all that revival power and that support component that's really great for long protected encounters. I think, yeah, I think I'd probably, I'd move Core Guard up a little bit. Would I rate it above DH? I, I, I... I'm a big fan of DH in ranked because it just has such hyper carry. It's such a hyper carry. It does so much damage. It just destroys people. And people aren't very good at playing against it. So I think I'd actually rate DH a little bit higher. And uh, Rev goes down a little bit there too. So yeah, that's the way I'd probably do with that. Mechanist for ranked. Hmm. Mechanist. Now the good thing about mech is that you're going to win your 1v1s. And you can also do really well in 2v2s uh, and 3v3s. So I think mech... However, I don't think it's that good. I, I think your carry potential is not insane because you're not giga... You, you can't make... You, you can win one node, right? You're going to be there and you're going to win the fight there. But you, you can't impact the map that much. I might come back to that. I'm not entirely sure, actually. Um... I think it's good, but I don't think it's amazing. Like, you want to be able to generate loads of kills and roam, right? You want to be amazing for roaming. Although, mech can also do really well. I, I think it deserves maybe an A tier here. That's dupe. It's a low A tier. It's going to be like a low A tier. It's still very strong. There's a lot of damage. Uh, it's good in the, the fights and in the 1v1s too, which is great for locking down the map and kind of keeping your team in it. So, I think it deserves an A tier. I'm going to go ahead and give it A. It can keep the A. Um... Let's see. What else have we got here? We have... What about Ranger? I think... Ooh. Sikkim Soul Beast. I'm going to give... I'm going to give that A+. I think it's more than Herald. Probably more than Herald, actually. Sikkim Soul Beast with Warhorn and One Wolf Pack. Dude, that is a Peepo Meat Grinder. Oh, yeah. That is a Meat Grinder, chat. It just eviscerates people it is so mobile so much damage so much kill power it is it's wild it's crazy like very good build to play actually 
Very good build to play indeed, actually. Uh, I think Weaver actually... Uh, we, uh, Mm. Oh no, I don't want to rate we no, we're not rating Weaver yet. We're not no, we're not we're not ready. 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 Korev is easy. That's a C tier build. It's just it's like it's not bad, but it's not good, right? Like if you're playing Korev, you should probably be playing Vindicator or Herald, right? Or or Renegade. It's eh, whatever. I think weirdly enough, Renegade. Renegade is actually in a similar situation. I, I think Renegade is probably Renegade maybe gets a little bit of a B-tier situation here. I don't think it's good, but I think it's better than Korev, right? I think it's a bit better than Korev. Uh, has really fallen out of meta for sure right now. Like, you're seeing a lot more uh, direction towards the Vindicator and the Herald. And with that in mind, Vindicator. Vindicator in ranked. I think Vindicator is... Is it better than Herald in ranked? That's a good question, actually. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I, I think maybe I would give it a little bit of... I think it's a little bit better. I don't think Vindicator is actually that good um, for rank, to be honest. But I think it's definitely, like, up here uh, in A-plus tier. Because you have some good 1v1s you can have on this. And you provide damage in the team fight, And you have a lot of DPS. So, uh, I, I, I think Vindicator is good. It's very strong and competitive. Right, that's for sure. Maybe I'll give it A tier. I'll be a little harsh to it. Because I, I don't think it's... Quite, it doesn't have quite the explosivity, right, of a lot of the other builds in terms of just, like, raw carry potential. Not quite the same level of carry as the stuff that we're seeing from SA+. Because when we're talking about ranked, trying to contextualize this tier list, we're, we're trying to figure out what's going to be, like, the hardest carry, basically. Like, what's the thing that's going to have the biggest impact on a ranked match? Like, what can you do the most with? You know, this is actually sad, right? This is actually genuinely sad for me to say this, guys. I think Reaper... I think Reaper has fallen from grace. I think Reaper it used to be really good in ranked, but I think you get eaten alive right now. You get absolutely torn to shreds. Ooh, I don't feel good about putting it in the same tier as Renegade, though, but I don't think it's A tier. I think Reaper has a real tough time. You're just so vulnerable. Like, you just get destroyed, right? Like, you, you just get farmed. You know what I mean? So I think it's got to be a relatively low tier. Maybe I have to demote Renegade because of that. Because I feel like... Is Reaper better than Renegade? Poof. Yeah. It's actually a little tough. Uh, Hollow. Where's Hollow here? Hmm. Hmm. Hollow Smith. Hollow Smith grenades. There's a lot of... Um, there's quite a lot of projectile hate in the meta right now, and that really shuts down grenades significantly. I think it might still end up in A tier, because it does have really high kill potential, good mobility, and all that kind of stuff. I don't think it's A+. It used to be like S Omega tier, but now I think it's an A tier build. Um, it's still very strong, but it is nerfed a lot. I think it's better than Reaper. Um, it's better than Reaper, but I don't think it's as good as the A+, or S tiers whatsoever. Scrapper? Um... I think Scrapper is not great. I think it's B tier. Uh, it's it's a bit of a meme build, right? Like Flamethrower or like the Nade build. It's a meme build. It's I don't think it really has a lot of potential to do super well, right? But there you go. Yeah, I'd say A tier for, for that. What about some Mesmers? I want to look at some Mesmer stuff here. Hmm. Hmm. Mirage? Mirage, I think, is actually still good. I think it's good. It, it doesn't... I think it struggles to survive a little bit. The Duelist build is actually good in competitive, actually. I'd probably give Mesmer a... I'd give it, like, a high... High... Ooh, we might need B plus it. No, we can't add any more tiers. It might be at the bottom of A tier. Um, no. I think it has to be... I, I think it's B tier. Yeah, it's B tier. I... It, it's... It's actually really strong, but... It's very hard to pull off, really hard to make effective, and you're going to get bullied by all the other specs, right? You have no sustain, you're going to get melted. You could play the 1v1 setup, which is actually really nice, but I don't think that's going to deliver the same level of value as a lot of the stuff in A tier, A plus, and S tier there, so not quite good enough. Chrono, I, I feel like I have to be really mean here. I, I mean... These are not good, guys, okay? <laughs> These are not good. Chrono and Base Mez. Base Mez is feed tier. I'm not gonna lie. I, I think Chrono's actually really bad. Like, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I actually think it's really, really bad. It's not good. Uh, at all. It's just so vulnerable. You have a lot of damage, but you have nothing else. Like, if the enemy team realizes that you exist... You just destroy them. Like, you just literally get 
obliterated in, in one second. It... <sighs> Maybe it gets, maybe it gets like D tier, right? Like it's, it's probably at the top of feed tier or at, in like D tier. Maybe I do have to add another tier because I think it, it's not, they aren't as bad as, no, we need another tier. We're adding another tier, guys. We're adding D tier back uh, because it's not feed tier. They are definitely playable. Uh, they're just not very good. Uh, so we need to, a little bit of a rejiggle there. I like that. Bit of a rejiggle situation. I like it. I like it. I like it. That's good. That's big. Uh, so yeah, D tier. Enjoy that. Virtuoso, I think Virtuoso is pretty mediocre. Uh, I, I think it's probably a, a decent level B tier build. Is it a little better than Mirage? Might be a little better than Mirage, actually. Um, it has a lot of damage and can be very survivable in 1v1. So maybe it's, it's kind of like, it's pretty similar there. So I'd put it in B tier. It's in B tier, guys. What about these other thieves? You know, I think Deadeye actually has to be rated high. I think Deadeye actually has to go in, in A+. Plus. Yeah, it does. Because this build memes people. Yeah, I, I think we'll go ahead and put Deadeye. I think Deadeye is pretty high here as well, actually. I'd put it... I'd put it kind of mid-range. Uh, mid-range, I'd say, in in A plus tier. Is it better than Soul Beast? I don't think it's better than Soul Beast, actually. Nah, I, I think it it's good. Very strong build. Because, again, it's one of those builds that players really struggle to deal with. It's quite hard to shut it down in ranked. You need to have a level of coordination, a level of awareness, which is really hard to get in ranked. So I'd say it's probably A+. Plus. Daredevil. I think actually similar. I think it's very strong. I, I'm i not sure if I'd quite put it on the same level as Spectre and Deadeye. Oh, I probably would, though, actually. It's so much map control, so much kill potential if you play this well. I think it has to go in A+, plus just because Thief. Like, Thief is just so strong. Um, definitely the, I, I'd definitely be looking towards um, Spectre and Deadeye, though, if I was going to play Thief. For sure. Core Thief. Mm, bit of a meme build. At this, It's a meme build. It's not bad, but it's not good. I'd probably say C tier. Wait, it, I think it's better than Core Ellie. It's better than Core Rev. Probably B tier. B tier. It's, it's definitely... It, it's very mediocre, though. It, it's not... It's not what it once was. Like the Comedy build got shaved down a lot over time, and it's very much overshadowed by its other thief, other thief elite specs now. Core Ranger, I think Core Ranger is very middle of the line, Mi very middle of the range. It's kind of like it's a good one v one, right? But you aren't going to carry with that super hard, to be honest. And I think you're going to be better off with the Soul Beast because the Soul Beast is a dualist build too, actually, right? You have like the Comedy dualist build with the Bird, really strong actually for one v ones, and Untamed is going to be better. But it's not bad. It's not bad. Core Necro? Poof. That's actually really hard. That's actually super, super hard to rate. Huh. I don't think it's that good. Not anymore. It doesn't have that oomph. Like, the current meta is very aggressive, right? It's, it's a pretty fast-paced meta. And Necro's too slow for that. It, it's a little too slow for that. No. It got nerfed with its sustaining life force generation. Doesn't have a crazy amount of damage, right? It, it's very good at winning slow, protracted encounters. But with the Lich form nerf, it doesn't have that oomph. It doesn't have that punch to finish these fights. So I think it actually goes in kind of a low B tier, actually. Um, I Mid to low B tier. Yeah. It's decent. It's okay. It's definitely worse than Reaper, though. Reaper's a fair bit better, I think, because you just have more damage. Um, Berserker. This is actually going to be insane, right? This is going to be wild, guys. You better be, you better be ready for this one. You better be ready. I think Berserker is surprisingly good. Okay, um, ha. Uh, Berserker is, no joke, very good because people don't play into it very well. It's, it, it's, it's, this is a super weird one. In, like, entry-level play, like, up to, kind of, like, um, you know, in bronze, silver, gold, and probably low plat, I think Berserker is actually insane. If you play Berserker well, you will literally 1v5 people on this build because there's so much damage. There's also a decent duelist build, too. Not the rifle build, the greatsword build. It does so much DPS. You pop, like, Defiant Stance. You've got Endure Pain. You're spinning around in circles going crazy. You actually farm people. However, the problem is it falls off insanely hard um, when you get to... when people actually figure out that you're playing Berserker and you become useless. Um... So I think 
because of that, I think it has to get C tier, but I'm not going to put it D tier, actually. Um, mm, it's kind of similar to Chrono in this respect. Maybe it has to go D tier. Um, it has, it maybe is D tier because it's actually very similar to Chrono Monster and because uh, it one shots people, it just obliterates people with Chrono. But the problem is, is that the minute people figure you out, you're going to just die, right? You're just going to get farmed. So I, I think I have to be, I, I'm, I'm on the Berserker hype train, but no, I think it has to go D tier. Too vulnerable, too vulnerable. Druid. Druid in ranked. <sighs> mm, I think it's actually very, it's below average. Um, you can kind of meme people at entry level, kind of, uh, again, that gold plat, low plat play. But once people know how to play against Druid, mm, it's not really doing anything. Like you, and the, the problem with Druid is that you, you're going to struggle in the fights, right? You're going to be okay in 1v1s, but you aren't going to deliver value to the rest of your team. So I don't think that's good. Weaver and Catalyst in ranked? I'd be very tempted to put both of them in A tier. Actually, I think they actually work pretty darn well. They have a lot of damage. Um, Catalyst in particular. Weaver still has really good 1vx potential as well with the Burning Weaver. Um, Lightning or Weaver is great for uh, carrying as well. They've probably fallen off a little bit in the EOD meta, but I think they're actually better than... I think they're better than B tier right now. I'd say so. Catalyst is a bit underestimated. I think I'd put them low A tier. I think I'd put them both low A tier. Better than um, people give them credit, actually, because Catalyst has so much DPS, has a lot more sustain now, and is really fast. Really fast uh, with um, Ride the Lightning because you can play Dagger Dagger. Uh, Lightning or Weaver is still good. Um, Fresh Air Weaver is still good. Fire Weaver is still good. These are all serious stats and they can work well into other duelists too. And again, Fire Weaver has really good 1vx potential as well. It's like very good at um, wasting time and creating favorable matchups for your team on the rest of the map. So as long as your team doesn't kind of horribly lose the 4v5, right? Then, you know, you're in business. We've got Warrior here. Hmm. Bladesworn. Bladesworn, Bladesworn, Bladesworn. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do the other ones first. I think Core Warrior, C tier. It's, you know, it has a build that works, right? It works. You can play it, uh, it's not unplayable. Spellbreaker. Spellbreaker in ranked. Surprisingly good, I think, actually. Surprisingly good. Uh, I think you can 1v2 people. You can quickly and decisively win 1v1s. I think it's probably a very high a very high B tier, I think. I think Weaver's better. Um, but it's it's a high B tier, though. It's good. Bladeswarm. Where does this go? You know... I'm very tempted to actually put this in A+. Because it's really hard to kill in ranked. It's mobile. Can handle 1v1s very nicely, actually, on Bladesworn. Has a very big presence in the team fight with that hybrid support element. Has a lot of damage, uh, too. I think this kind of has to... This has to go up there. I think this is really, really up there, actually. It's either the very, very top of A or A+. What do you guys think, chat? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask the audience. Chat, what do you guys think? What are you thinking? I think I'd be very tempted to put it in A+. Kind of around there, I'd say. It's very strong, actually. One of the sleeper specs, it's 100% it's one of the sleeper specs. It's because the, the problem with Bladeswan is that it's a little overshadowed by other builds. It's kind of like, well, if you're running Bladeswan, you're not running Vindicator, right? You're not running um, a mech, potentially. And that is a little weird. Um, but in ranked, I think that it can really thrive because it, it's not, you're not so reliant on having that full team synergy. And therefore, I think Bladeswan can really, swi uh, really, really thrive there, actually. So I'm going to give it A+. Plus. I'll be generous because I, I, I think the spec is, it's pretty cool. It's quite obnoxious to play against, not going to lie, but I'm going to get it in there. It's in there. Huge sustain. Very nice output. Solid mobility. Right. Uh, all that good stuff. And it also has that hybrid support element, which means it can do really well in the team fight. And anything that can do really well in the team fight... How bad can it be, right? How bad can it be? 
Um, yeah. Now, of, of course, yeah, the, a lot of the projectile block in the meta right now. So, and again, that's why Untamed is so good. And so is Harbinger with Corrosive Poison Cloud. Um, this stuff is really, really strong, obviously, right? Like, really, really powerful. And that's also, you know, in a way, it counters stuff like Soul Beast. It will counter your uh, Mechanist. Uh, sorry, uh, your Harbinger, right? Counter a lot of things. It's big. But yeah, there it is. That's my ranked tier list. I think I'm pretty happy with that, actually. I'm glad I waited. You know, I, I could have done this tier list a long time ago, but I'm glad I waited. I, I think this is actually pretty accurate. I'm, ooh, I, th I actually think, I, th I think, is Ellie better than Hollow? I, um, I think they're actually about the same, right? I'm giving up on ordering them. I, I, hmm, I think Catalyst is underrated here. Uh, that's my, I'm arguing with myself now. I think Kaz is actually good. Like, again, watch Grimjack play Catalyst. Watch uh, Blam play Catalyst. They get so much value out of it. It's one of those things where I think not a lot of people actually play it. Um, and as a result of that, it kind of seems weaker than it actually is. Um, but no, I, I think Catalyst is good. And Weaver. Still good ranked memes. Um, yeah, don't completely look at this as like, you know, left-hand side is better, right-hand side is worse. These are kind of vague groupings because it's really close. Yeah, dude. Oh my god. Hammer Catalyst, actually. Hang on. Wait, I completely forgot about Hammer Catalyst because Mios plays this build. This guy is a lunatic on this build. This build is a machine. It is actually a hyper carry. Um, ooh, it might have to get upgraded. I, I think just because of Hammer Catalyst in exactly ranked... It might have to go up because of this build does so much damage. It has so much um, carry potential that it definitely needs to be upgraded here, actually. It might actually go to the top of A tier. I, I think it might be better than um, a lot of these other builds because it just does so much damage. I'm not sure if I'd quite put it on the level of A+, plus, but because um, it can be focused down pretty easily. But yeah, I think it definitely goes like high A tier for sure. I'm very tempted to put Tempest at A+, plus, by the way, funnily enough, I think. Um, I think Tempest is a little underrated, but I think Core Guardian is a little too strong, I think. It's a little too much with all that stability to kind of get there. See, so, yeah, I'd, I'd probably put it... I'd put it around there, I think. But yeah, finishing touches. We got the tier list done. Tier list locked in. There we go. I love to see that. So, as you can see, you know, you know what's kind of cool, though, right? The only class that is struggling a little bit is actually Mesma, right? Although, I, I uh, maybe Virtuoso is a little underrated here, actually. Um, it might deserve A tier, so take that with a grain of salt. But look, guys, you know, we have Ranger, Guardian, 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 right? Thief, Necro, Warrior, Rev. Okay, Engie's up here as well. Ellie's doing fine, uh, too. Everyone's having a good time, right? Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good, actually. Um, not too bad whatsoever. I think the, the game is going in a really healthy direction in terms of the balance. And no matter what profession you're into, you actually have some really, really good options that you can play uh, and have great success within Ranked. Um... Maybe I feel a little generous. I, maybe I'll give Virtuoso an A tier. I, I'll, I'll move it up, you know, because I, I want to see everything in A tier or better, right? Hell yeah, look, because, look, guys, look, Arena pay me to tell you guys the game is balanced. For legal reasons, that's a joke. Um, but yeah, there it is. Boom. Yeah, I saw Misha play Virtuoso. It looked good. He's convinced me. The master of disaster. Okay, the thing is, I, you know, I, whenever I see a uh, Skelling player build, I immediately think it's trash. Uh, so, you know, I, and I saw Skelling play uh, Virtuoso, so I'm like, whoa, this build is awful, right? Like, how bad? You know, it's, it's terrible. It's unplayable. Uh... <laughs> Oh, man, what a meme. Oh, maybe that is a little generous. I'm really torn on this. I'm super torn on it. I'm putting it back. Get back to the depths, Virtuoso. Get back to the depths. There you go. All right, done. Boom. Job done. Easy peasy. Simple as that. Mirage and Virtuoso, they're in the they're in the doom zone. They're in the doom zone. But that's it. That's it for ranked. Now you know what to play, guys. Mindlessly follow this guide with no critical thinking, and you will find success. Nice. Enjoy that, my friends. Very good stuff. <laughs>